Well, good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a third planting of my fall seed seeds and I will bring you along. I'm, I'm going to start out with spinach, a variety of spinach called Equinox. I'm sorry, a variety of uh, Savoy spinach called Equinox. And these were purchased from Johnny Seeds. I am placing one in each cell since this is a new seed on seed and cell tray. And I'm pressing them down to make sure they're in firm contact with the soil. The next one will be a variety of spinach called Bloomingdale. Okay. Next one will be another variety of spinach called Space, and I got it from Johnny's. Okay, next one will be a variety of lettuce called Blue Rock, and it's a pel pelleted seed, again purchased from Johnny's.
Next, I'm going to do some onions. And these are from the Urban Farmer, a variety called the Cipollone Yellow. These I'm um, placing two in each cell. Another variety of lettuce called the Milago. It's a butterhead lettuce. Okay, we're gonna do Trinidad seasoning, hot pepper, and these were from Pucker Butt. Okay, these had to be soaked in black tea to soften the, the shell of the seed. So I'm, I'm just pouring the water out in my hand. I'm sorry, the tea out in my hand. And the last one will be the Carolina Reaper. And again, from purchase from Pucker, Pucker Butt.
Okay, they're all in. Next, for those of you that know, you know my next step, I put perlite over my seeds. The purpose of the perlite is to help with the mo moisture and keep the seeds from drying out. Okay, and that's that. Okay, as you can see, they're all watered in, I'm sorry, planted and covered with the perlite. The next step is to water them in. Okay, all watered in and waiting to start blooming. So when they start coming up, um, come back and show you their progress and we'll put them in their final homes. Hopefully this will be the last planting that I will have to do for my fall winter garden. Well, I want to thank you for coming along with me as I did this um, planting, my third planting of my fall crops. I hope you got something from it. If you did, that's great. Remember, it's all part of the process, learning how to do things. And I, I have found this to be relaxing, enjoyable, and worthwhile. You can, even in small spaces such as mine, you can grow vegetables to support yourself and your family. So if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. Make sure that you hit the like button. Also the, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload something new. Leave me a question in the comment section below or comment and I'll reply back. Until next time, stay strong, stay blessed, and grow, grow, grow.